last time on Kerbal Space Program. Uh, yeah, have I managed to get it back the right way around? Here we go, launch. Come on, blow the booster up. There we go. Oh, turn, turn the wrong way. Right, whoa! Whoa, we lost control. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. There we go. Once you take the... Oh. The brakes! Drop that stage. Launch the next stage. Whoa! Oh my goodness. I accidentally launched two stages at once. Well, hello there. Master Hellish here. And welcome to my Kerbal Space Program live let's play. I. Did, did you like the. Since last time? A shout out to Jackamac for that. Thank you very much. For doing that introduction for me. It's one of those nice little touches that I just don't have time to do myself. And it's fantastic that you've done that. And maybe we'll do it again if you want to. We'll see. But hello, hello everybody who's uh, popped along this Tuesday evening sort for some nice KSP action. I, I, I liked it. I think it was very good. Very good indeed. Um, so uh, nice one, Jack and Mac. Thank you very much for that. And um, since last time, there's also been one little change. So um, I'm still calling this a stock Let's Play, but I, I now have one mod installed. And that mod changes the axis of the joystick depending on whether something is a rocket or whether it's a plane. And I explained this, I think, to the viewer plus subscribers that like an aeroplane would be something like that way that way and then the third axis is that way whereas a rocket the axis are the same but it doesn't actually it's not intuitive you you push forward left right and you expect the rocket to go up left right forward back not roll and and that's what it does so i've got that mod and what it does it just swap swaps those axes over and that's it so the, the joystick is still here, it's still here, we haven't got it on screen at the moment because um, because we're not flying anything, and um, I've now got a keyboard shortcut to, to get, take that on and off, it was a bit of a pain before to have to switch backwards and forwards, but um, no, it, it's, not, it's not modded, it's like I've added a mod to fix the joystick, it, I'm still playing stock KSP in my, in my opinion. So what are we going to do today? Well, last time it was pretty much all about the science, and I've been doing science. 296.3 science, to be precise. Yeah, the, the twist in the joystick wasn't right for the pitch. It, I, I believe it's technically correct with the way that the, like, the scientists do it with rockets, but it does, it just, when you're flying a rocket with a joystick, it just doesn't make sense. Um, so yeah, so what I did is I took that science rover that we made last time <laughs> Excuse me, I feel like I need to hiccup Nope I'm just going to cough Yeah, that, that sorted it out um, I, I took that rover that we made last time And I just visited each of the areas of the space center i went to the runway space plane hangar mission control i went to the uh the, the crawlway the launch pad the vehicle assembly tracking station research and development astronaut complex administration building and the flagpole the flagpole is its own little place and we've got a lot of research so it's night time it's our first night let's spend the evening spending our research points um, hello to everybody who's joining. There's a few messages come through. 
Real fella says, yeah, it does, it does make sense. Yeah, I agree. Minmus is best for science. And you know what? Minmus is probably a good target um, sometime very soon. Uh, but in terms of, like, because th we've only done one live stream. This is live stream number two. So we were right at the very beginning of our career. And to have 269 science to spend is fantastic. As you can see, we've already unlocked this little um, basic science way. We've gone all the way down here, and we managed to get the science junior. Now, the next thing that I would like to unlock is, if I can find it, somewhere... Right, so there's one probe. I want to be able to have probes, because I don't... Where's Minmus? Minmus is the second moon that orbits Kerbin. There's two moons for Kerbin. Um... Minimus is slightly further out, but it's actually easier. Um, I, I think it's easier because of the gravity. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, you was here a few times, but you never said that you watched me years ago. Open TTD series on YouTube. It's lovely, nice work. Well, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Brandon's like, well, hang on a minute. I never noticed a second moon. Yes, there's a second moon. Brandon, you just never look far enough. Anyway, going back to what I was saying, this is really the first viable probe that you get, and it's in this electronics for 90, which we could unlock. However, I really, really want the next probe. The reason for that is that this probe has stability assist. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here we go, SAS. It has stability assist, like the other one, but it also has prograde and retrograde hold which is really, really handy in many, many situations. So my target today is to try and unlock that so that next time we can do big expeditions to dangerous places without sending Kerbals. Now, uh, what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to unlock the electronics because that gets us one step closer. Now, we can't research the precision engineering until we've increased the level of the facility. And that's going to... Oh, I'm, wrong button. Wrong button. And that's going to cost us half a million to upgrade. So we definitely need the money. We also need to upgrade... Well, there's something that we need to upgrade to get... Um, the thing where we can do... Which one is it? It's not administration. Is it mission control? There's something that you need to do to upgrade, and it gives you the ability to do um, the thing. We are. Oh, what's it called? Action groups. It's action groups. Is it the runway? What? What is it? I can't find it. Oh, hang on. You have to hover over the silly thing right it's the vehicle assembly building so you get basic action groups are then available there we are daniel's here watching on youtube bonjour hello uh voldrini hello welcome watching on twitch what tech does the runway upgrade do uh the runway um increases the maximum vessel size and weight brandon what will your first facility build grade? It, it'll probably be the research and development after the vehicle assembly building. So we're going to probably do vehicle assembly building so we can do bigger things. Because a maximum of 30 parts is pretty much pointless for us. And uh, then we'll need the research and development. So that's our big target. We're going to spend nearly three quarters of a million um, if we can. So now that we've spent some science unlocking electrics i'm not going to worry about saving the 160 science needed for precision engineering rocket scientry greetings from germany well thank you very much um what we are going to do is we're going to unlock some of these lower items so yeah general rocketry almost a definite um and then we can advance do un advanced rocketry and general construction and I think we'll still have enough left for flight control, but we wouldn't then be able to afford the next level of things. Let's find out. So let's... Yes, because we really want the Terrio liquid fuel engine, because that's really fantastic. good. That is indeed fantastic. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. 
Oh my goodness, we've got a lot of a lot of things popping up in the chat here. Um, most of it is the bot. Minmus is low gravity. Ah, oh, yes. So yeah, basically, I think the delta v for Minmus is actually less than the moon because of the low gravity. I think it's mainly because it's made of cake. Right, we've got 114 science to spend, so we can either unlock one of these 90s or both of these 45s. So we can either have general construction, which will give us uh, decouplers and the launch jobby and the fuselage and a crew cabin, which could be handy for taking extra people with us. And we also get flight control, which is not great. I mean, we, we get winglets which are good for aeroplanes i guess i guess it depends whether we want to go rockets or whether we want to go aeroplanes structural definitely says jackamack structural do you mean general construction flight control is really helpful you get the reaction wheel yeah i, I guess the reaction wheel is is good but and most command pods also have reaction wheels in them. Tell you what, we'll get those two, I think, because... Ah, or heavy rocketry, because then we can build big rockets. Okay, let's get, let's get general construction and flight control. There we go. We've got them. We've spent our science. We've unlocked all of this range here. We've got our electronics, so we do actually have... Um, the um the basic probe so that's good we'll be able to um then start on looking more stuff as we go oh mike's here hey hope you and your family are well great content as well nice to catch you live well, thank you very much hope you're doing good uh we'll have to catch up sometime mike um definitely right uh, with the research you can do it better with planes i think it's worth it says jack Man. yeah maybe we'll we'll see Passenger missions, true, potentially. But anyway, we've unlocked the science now. We've done that. And I think the next thing to do is go to Mission Control and find out what we're going to be doing the next day. So we have no active contracts. And we've got quite a few av available here. One of them is Orbit Kerbin. Which, to me, should be easy. And you're not, you know what? Not only do I think I might be able to Orbit Kerbin, I might be able to bring back the booster like SpaceX does. What do you guys think to that? <laughs> you want to go to the cake planet? I don't know if it is cake or, or like yogurt or something. Or ice cream. I think it's meant to be ice cream, isn't it? Uh, we've got various different things over here. Some of these test parachutes, etc. can be brilliant. Bring back the booster. Yeah, that's something I definitely want to try. The booster return idea. The problem with Kerbal Space Program is, is that... If something's in atmosphere, then it's not on rails, and then you ha you can't like go away from it. You can't leave it alone. So you'll have to see. Above the line says this is the first KSB live stream I've seen from this channel. Um, this is my second live series, so you've missed a whole other series. Don't worry about that. Just watch this one. Just watch this one. The uh, the the there's a a playlist. On my YouTube channel to watch these back if you want. Right, so we're just going to check these. Okay, so it wants us to um, test a solid booster uh, flying a high up in the sky. So we won't bother with that one. That one's cool. that one's not too bad. Test a parachute in Kerbin just above three thousand meters, going at a certain speed. We can do that. That one, I think we can do almost certainly. Yeah, well, let's set that one. Um, you've been been watching the YouTube Open TTD content. Are you doing YouTube vids for this? No. So these ones are live streams only, but if you want to watch the live streams back, there is a playlist on YouTube, so you can watch them back. Um, yeah, the second stage needs to be over uh, 70 kilometers uh, while I land the booster, so it is not easy. Um, and... Troll Jetty watching on YouTube is here. Uh, let's just have a quick look here. Ferry Taurus, Ferry Taurus. Test decoupler. Uh, it wants us to test a decoupler high in the sky. Now, this one's not too bad, but the speed is quite high. Money's all right, and you get the science. That That's one we could do. We might actually be able to do both. 
Oh, hang on. This is an easy one. Swivel liquid engine. Splash down at Kerbin. We get about just under 20 grand in science and stuff. Well, let's set that. There we go. Brilliant. Right, we've got two contracts. Let's design a rocket which will allow us to do both contracts. Minmus could be fish fingers and custard. Yeah, I, I suppose it could. Um, it's easier once you have a lot more science to lock. For example, air brakes are OP for landing a booster. Yep, that's true. Yep. I, I just usually stick... I just... If I want to land a booster, I'll just do it nozzle first and let the nozzle take it and then um, use the chutes. I just use chutes and legs. I don't know if I have decent landing legs. Oh, I have to buy these parts in normal mode? Oh, that is a little bit unfair, is it not? I have to purchase... Or, or no, no, hang on. No, no, no. That is in hard mode. It's just greyed out, I think, because we can't... Um, because we can't start with it. So we'll start with the probe. What are we doing with the probe? We are completing these two objectives. So we need to test the parachute in flight over Kerbin, and then we need to splash down. Well, to me, that sounds like it's easy. Okay, so we put the... Which parachute? It? The Mark 16 parachute. So the Mark 16, so that one. We'll put that on top of the probe. Splash down at Kerbin. Has the probe got reaction wheels? It has. Okay, so in theory... That'll do it. We just fire that. Oh, hang on. No, we have to be above three kilometres. Uh, yeah, we have to be above three kilometres. I, w I wonder if that'll take us up to three kilometres. Oh, and we need the liquid swivel engine. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. We need the liquid sw swivel engine in the water. So what we'll do... Is we'll actually use that engine to get us up there. What's maybe top right, um, Jack and mate? Um, Real fella says, I don't know if there's a better place to place your head, but it's obscuring the objects. Ah, you see, my head is in a good position for flight mode when we're flying. Fuel lines with asparagus staging is fantastic. Yes, I have done asparagus staging before. Uh, ah, yeah. My head is a little bit in the way of some of those items, isn't it? I might have to have two different KSP. So, like, if I duplicate KSP and then I'll put building. Alright, okay. KSP, KSP building, and for building, I can just move me. We'll put me up here. And then we'll have a building mode and a flight mode, and I think that'll have to do. Bottom left corner, a bit to the right, is okay, I think. Yeah, but what you've got to remember is, is I've got my flight stick in the middle of the screen... And then I've got my uh, I've got my ball. Hang on a minute, what's going on? Can I? I don't know why my camera isn't activating. Oh right, okay. So the camera only activates in this screen. So there you are. Look, I've got that camera in the middle and the flight ball in the middle. So maybe I'll, I'll have to rethink it. Anyway, I'm surprised nobody mentioned that last time. Right, we're, it's all right. We're sorted. We've got we've got a workaround in place. We have a workaround in place. So I'm thinking, we use the swivel engine to get us up to three kilometres. We fire the parachute and then use that to splash down. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's just change the. The stage and we might be able to nail these two contracts with this uh, one aircraft. I can move the nav ball. I did move the nav ball, so now we want to go to normal KSP mode. It's night time. Should we do this one at night time? I feel like we should. 
Okay, right. Let's let's do this little little one at night time. It, I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, we just need to make sure that we're not going too fast when we get to three kilometers. It's not incredibly dark at night, no. Um, I mean, I don't think... Yeah, there's no lights on this vessel, so it doesn't matter if I turn the lights on or off. Right, okay, here we go. Uh, throttle to maximum. And we're launching in three, two, one. Okay. We're going to go too fast if we're not careful. So slowing down. Yep. Oh, I think. Think they're going to be perfect. We did it. Now the only problem is, is that I'm not sure how we're going to now get this over to the water. without the parachute being detached. Might, might be able to get it over to the water. The parachute's still attached, so this thing could splash down. The parachute's really tugging back. I think I've, I think I might have done it. I think I might have done it. Whoa, steady. We don't want to be going upwards. We just want to be burning down. Let's just have a quick look downwards. Hey, we're over the water. I think we might be alright. Okay, let's have a look. Um, tip, right click on the engine and pin it to the screen so you have access for the test. I think the test was just to open it, so... I think we're... Oop, I didn't mean to put the engine on. I think we're alright. I think we're going to splash down. Jobs are good. And we've two contracts. Um, yeah, because the test thing might not be just to deploy it. I am above the water. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm just testing. It's fine. It's not a problem. I've got a bit of skin, skin hanging off my finger. I'm not sure how, but I managed... Ouch! Well, it's not hanging on there anymore. It is quite weird. I should have used a second parachute. I thought you tested the engine, not the parachute. No, the en uh, the engine is when you splash down. So I've got to be splashed down, and then it says test. So I might like run test. And there you go. Both contracts complete, and no kerbals were, you know, risked at all. So what did we get from that? No science. Brilliant. But we got funds from recovered parts and our money is looking much better. Okay, back to mission control. Okay, so we're not going to do focus surveys right now. Um, we've got to do... What's this? Is the drone inside the rocket's hellish bot.exe? It's, it's no, no, it's definitely not. What you mean is if there's something you need to do a test or not by staging, then you do the test. Oh, I completely understand what you're saying now. Uh, hang on, what's this all about? We have to get a solid fuel booster up that high. No thanks. Decoupler in flight? That could be quite easy to do. And tourists. Uh, 
Should we orbit? Should we orbit Kerbin? We're going to try and orbit Kerbin. All right, this is going to be a bit of a big build, I think. Okay. For orbiting Kerbin, we're going to start with a probe core. I'm not intending on bringing this probe core back. So according to the contract, we only need to achieve a stable orbit. We don't actually need to bring it back. Bringing it back makes the whole thing a lot harder. Um, and if we leave it in space, we can conduct science in space. So we're going to we're going to fit this out to be an actual little probe. So we're going to give it a service bay. That's where most of its things are going to live. We're going to give it some. Ah, uh, hang on a minute. We're probably going to go over the part limit. Okay, let's. Hmm. Well, we've got two. We've got two solar panels on there anyway. That's enough for there. We'll need some form of communication. And I'm not sure which one would be best. Let's have a look. What's that one? Don't actually know how that one opens. Oh, is that just the antenna? Is that it? How it is? All right, that that one looks good. We'll, we'll no, 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 no. We don't need that many antennas. Yeah, this this is quickly getting out of hand. Uh, what difficulty you use in terms of communication? Have you all ground stations available? You know what? I'm not 100% sure. I've um, we're playing on normal difficulty, but Kerbals don't return. Let's get ourselves a fuel tank on the bottom of that. That's probably a bit big. We might be able to make an orbit with that. So at the moment, that's our satellite, and we've already used seven of our part count. Okay, so stack decoupler, that's the wrong kind. Rob's here, watching on Twitch, hey Rob. Jack and Mike says, I didn't realise uh, Kerbals had personal parachutes until you play. Yeah, they didn't used to um, when the game first launched, is my understanding. And then, on the top of this, we want a second probe so that we can bring it back and that probe I'm going to risk it running out of electric it's going to need a lot of fuel by the way folks this is definitely an experiment I have no idea what I'm doing just in case it wasn't obvious uh, how do I zoom out? There we go. So that's our satellite. It's, uh, yep, yep, yep. We haven't got any science on the satellite yet. We do need at least one piece of science. Uh, and I think one more fuel tank. Is that going to get to space? Is that going to get to orbit? I don't know. Let's put a swivel on the bottom. I don't even know if a swivel will let this take off. How are we doing on our part limit? 15. That's not too bad, actually. We do need some sort of landing legs. What have we got available to us? Just the terrible ones. And they, they don't actually reach lower than the engine. Um... Why don't you take the, check the Delta V? I could do. Let's have a quick look. What we got here? Body, Kerbin, altitude. Dead. Oh, hang on. It says here. Pass. <laughs> Use struts to secure the second stage. We will do if we have enough parts left. At the moment, I'm worried about how we're going to land this. It's going to need 
It's going to need at least one, probably two, radial thingies, which aren't showing up for some reason. Did I not pick them up? I didn't pick them up. Okay, so two of them, and then two of them. get the staging all in the right order. I am so... This is so going to explode. Click show all. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. It's having problems um, calculating some of the delta V for some reason. Oh, it's because the stage was separating. Okay, I the one thing I'm worried about at the moment is that this engine isn't powerful enough to lift this. So we might have to strap a couple of little solid boosters. What do you mean no one else can see it? It's too small, is it? Uh, okay. Um, I think we're going to do a test. What we're going to do is we're just going to see if we can launch this and land the entire thing in the sea. And for that, we're going to add extra chutes in stage... Where are they? Stage 4. So we're going to try and thrust it up and just land it gently in the sea just to see if we can get it up into the air. We're going to add a couple of struts, as previously advised, because this is a potentially wobbly. We only want two. I think we might be on our part limit then. Let's have a look. 29. Okay. You forgot the thermometer in the bay. We haven't got enough parts for that. This is... This... this uh, thank you very much for trying to remind me, though. Um... This is not going to space. This is a test to see whether that engine can lift this vessel. And we'll, we'll, we're going to do that now. We're going to just send it out to the launch pad and see if it can. If it can, we'll remove the parachutes and we will add the science. And actually, seeing as we've got enough parts limit, let's get one of these on. Let's get one of them. Bring it a little bit closer to the ground. There we go. No need to test. I, you know what? You could even push the second stage into the first one. I could, but we're just going to keep it nice and... Yeah. Hey, what, what was that? Click show all. I did that, didn't I? Yeah, all the Delta Vs. We've got a lot of Delta V's on there. I'm sure it's fine. It doesn't matter. Look, I'm doing the test. We're doing the test. We've. This is our. This is. Test rock. Um. Uh, serial number. What? Well, oh, we can't do serial number. Test rocket one. Tr one. Okay, uh, save that and launch. Hellish number one. It's you No, know, this vehicle is a test vehicle. I'm not giving it my name. It will accelerate with 0 0.07. Oh, that doesn't sound very good at all. Right. Um, okay. So one means hovering. Ooh, okay. Let's... I don't think this is going to... Under one means it'll fall back. Oh. This doesn't sound good. Okay. Maximum throttle. Let's see what happens. Go. Okay. It does accelerate. It's a bit too slow. Not ridiculously. But a bit. At least it goes up. Okay, let's get this over the water so we can bring it down. 
I want to recover as much of this as possible. Oh! No, don't don't make the rocket point downwards and throttle it. There we go. Right. We're just going to bring this down over the water. Uh, shoots. And with those shoots... Yeah, we're cool. <laughs> Hellish is a pro pilot. No, it's not oops. Everything's fine. I held it. It was alright. Edge of the seat stuff. This is a test vessel. It doesn't matter if it explodes. That's the whole point of doing a test. Right, let's fast forward so we can recover the vessel. Ooh, I've got some cookie pie. Bit of throttle as we're coming down to try and lower this impact. Is it going to break up as it tips over? That's the question, though. Oh, look at that. Recover the vessel. Brilliant. Imagine being able to only play in real time. Yeah. Right. Yeah, if I removed one of the fuel tanks, it would definitely have much better thrust-to-weight ratio. And I wouldn't need a side booster. So let's take off those parachutes. We don't need them now. Hmm. Um. But would it be enough to get to orbit if I did that? We can we can try. We could give it a go. Now this would need to land somehow. It's more than enough. You, yeah, but you say it's more than enough. It's more than enough for a normal person. Uh, this is now going to be TR2. I need 3,000 for... Well, I haven't got 3,000. Have I? No, I haven't got 3,400, have I? Yes, they are two probe cores. See, if I don't... I'm going to need more for the boost back. Check vacuum too. Oh, of course. The vacuum. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to need more for the boost back. Right, so we're going to go with the boosters. I'm going to put one more tank of fuel on. We're going to get the science on board. I don't know what science we're going to put on. Something light, like a thermometer. Um, that'll do for now. You know what, if I'm putting a thermometer on, what's the point in the service bay? So I may as well just put the thermometer on the side of the probe with the solar panels. Oh, right, we've only got one solar panel. Hang on. Let's reorientate. There we go, that's better. I'm not 100% sure. I... I <laughs> I need to learn a little bit more about the data Delta View in this game. Oh, sorry, Patrick. I nearly missed your message. Hey, been watching your Open TTD videos ever since uh, it came to Steam. Cool. Uh, played a ton on your old uh, four thousand. Oh wow. Yeah, I I loved playing Open TTD back in the game. Check the Delta V in the vacuum. Delta V uh, vacuum. Oh. 
Oh, I see. That is a big Delta V for the vacuum engine. So we've got 2,800 for the vacuum engine. I don't know if it works like that, but never mind. So yeah, that is a big difference. Okay, so this isn't going to go up quickly enough. So I've got one of two options. And we need to put landing gear on this. Uh, what what engines do we... Oh, there we go. We're going to put a couple of... Th we can put a thud on it. Yes, that'll do. That'll fix everything. Fantastic. Now we just need to learn, uh, figure out how we're going to land it. How are we going to land this without cheating? Oh, 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 I've just noticed something. We can now use these. Ah, they still don't go below the booster. All right, hang on a minute. If I do some tweaking, maybe I can do it. And also, we do want them sticking outwards a little bit. To get a good footprint. That doesn't look right. That looks right. Okay, let's see if we can do some tweaking here. If we move these down... So that they're kind of in line here. That might work. With stock KSP, it's always a trick to tell if atmospheric drag isn't nibbling away at the high numbers. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm really not quite sure what's going on here. Your upper stage is not 648, it'll be like 1,500 in vacuum, or maybe 1,000, yeah. Um, so, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. I don't know if I can then adjust these down a little bit as well. I can. Okay. I have no idea if this crazy thing's going to work, but that's part of the fun, isn't it? Oh, undo. Right, I want to start with these retracted. So in theory, this should have enough power to wait to accelerate good. It might have enough to get us into orbit. And we might be able to land it. Now, what's our part limit looking like? 28. I mean, I can't think of anything else that I want to add to this, so... I'm just going to add a couple more parachutes. Right. So these parachutes... I think go in this group. We've got too many parachutes around here. Yeah, okay, that looks good to me. Okay, there's a there's a possibility that this is going to work. For Test Rocket 2. Oh, no, I've got the flight cam on. Yeah, well, yeah, well, never mind. <sighs> should we see if we can get this into space? Into orbit, I should say. And bring the booster back. Oh, this is not going to work, is it? This isn't going to work. It might work. We'll see. I'm going to have to concentrate for this, guys. So, if you send me messages, I might miss this'll them. This probably work. This this will probably work. Thank you, DJ Egg. Uh, we're going to wait now, uh, and we're going to warp to sunrise for our first rocket. This isn't really a test, but we can always rename it if we want to. Oh, this this so doesn't look like it's going to work. Uh, okay, so at the first stage, we're going to let go of the clamp. We're going to fire all the engines. Then we're going to release the uh, the satellite, and we're going to attempt to then use the uh, what are they? The, not the fuel tank. We're going to attempt to use the 
the drogue chutes to slow us down to the point where standard chutes will allow us to land with the landing legs. I have not. Right, okay, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Camera's on. Camera's in the right place. Uh, thingy cam's on. Maximum throttle. SAS on. And... Go. Wow. Okay, so that went up pretty quick. I'm going to let it go straight for a little while. And then we're going to have to start turning. I'm just going to throttle back ever so slightly because I don't want to go too fast in the lower atmosphere. Because if you go too fast in the lower atmosphere, we're going to end up with way too much drag. We're already starting to get shock waves on this. This is probably some somewhere the equivalent of max Q now. So I'm going to start bringing it over now. We've gone up to 8,000. Whoa! Find controls, please. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not going to get this into orbit now. We're not going to... What on earth happened there? It's it's almost like I I didn't have the control I was expecting. What's going on? Oh, it just doesn't want to do anything, this. That's weird. That was a bit... <laughs> I throttled back for Max Q and it just it all went wrong. Okay, let's see if we can get this... I'm not even quite sure which orientation this is in now. Well, we won't waste any more fuel. We'll let this drop. Um, we will try and keep it... ...on that retrograde, though. We're just going to also adjust our staging. Uh, we're going to bring the drogue chutes down and the radial chutes... ...to try and just land this entire thing. I've now got somewhat some control of this again. We may we may as well use this fuel. Let's do high above land. Yeah, we're coming down pretty straight, pretty pretty good. I'm going to run out of fuel soon, so I think drogue shoots are going to come out soon. Okay, uh, drogue shoots active. I think we're actually going to come down in the water. That's slowing us down quite a bit. And then main chutes. Check for water. Yeah, water landing. So we won't bother with deploying the landing legs. The King says, hello, I'm new here. Thanks for all the Open TTD tutorials. You're welcome. I'm glad they were helpful for you. That's why I do them. Okay, so we didn't make it up there. But we lost control. Uh, we need more more aerodynamic. I also think we've got too many parachutes. Need some f fins for stability in the atmosphere. I think so. Forces over 300 meters per second is a problem. I was trying to keep it below 300 meters per second. I think fins. The only problem is our part limit. <sighs> I could I could purchase. I mean, we can definitely take two parachutes off, which will give us two fins. But ideally we need at least three fins. And I don't know what other part we could take off. Yeah, I went too fast. I'm glad I'm glad you um I'm glad you got the tutorials and it helped you. That's cool. I've got a let's play series on my YouTube channel. I actually got six of them. Um maybe use nose cone. Uh, maybe nose comb might help. Okay, let's get this thing to come down quickly. We're only two hundred meters up. The thing is, it's parts limit. I would love to slap a nose cone on this and whack some fins on, but I can't.
Okay. Vectoring engine. Okay. Let's take off two of the parachutes. We don't need them. This is going to be TR three. I hope my uh, I hope my moderators are remembering to do clips. Let's go back to building mode. So, yeah. Um, what what part limit? I'm I'm on twenty eight. I could drop the. I could drop this. We probably don't need that. We could actually start with the landing legs out and actually take off from the landing legs. I don't see why we couldn't do that. Try and get it around 1.4. I wonder what it is again. Uh, it's 2.31, so it's too much at the moment. I mean, I don't think I have any... See, there's no real smaller engines. I could use jet engines. We could use, like... We could actually make a jet plane to pull it up through the first part of the... Oh, no. We're going a bit off track here. So why didn't it get... Oh, fins. That was it. Or a nose cone, or both. That's what I think I was going for next. Let's have a look at what we've got in the aerodynamic industry. We've got some winglets. Winglets solve everything, right? That four puts us over the part limit. But we can actually get away with three. Try and remove the middle engine. Let's have a look. Um, 1.4. What's the ah right okay that could be that is a good tip actually. So this one gives a thrust of one hundred and sixty-seven. Um, I wonder if it's just more efficient than the third. Yeah, I also gained delta V because of the tonnage. Let's move that up. Let's not have three of them. Let's just have two again. So we can move these up so it actually is in line with the bottom of the booster. And then that actually gives us one more part. So we could move... We can either have four winglets or three and a nose cone. And I'm tempted to say three and a nose cone. It's just we'd have to move this antenna like to here. We got a nose cone. Like that is a big nose cone, isn't it? Actually that could work. You hate winglets on rockets. <laughs> Maybe. Just add some tail fins and a nose cone and it will fly like a charm. I'm not sure we need I'm not sure we need the, the winglets. I think just a basic fin maybe. Do we go with you said tail fin? I think it's just some basic fins just to help with stability. We just don't go too fast in the atmosphere. Winglets are for planes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Just we winglet. We just put a little basic fin. Oh, this could work. Is this TR three or TR four? I forgot. I'm not sure. Re remove some shoots. I did that. I did remove. I removed the shoots as well. I think it's the first thing I did when we got back to vehicle assembly. So we'll save it and we'll give it another go. I am. Are we ready? Ready for another attempt? 
you just have to keep the nose in the prograde circle. Yeah, apart from when I need it to turn. That's the problem. So, engines separate shoots, shoots, engines. Might be able to do this, folks. Let's, um... <clears throat> oh, my throat's going funny. I'm also going to able enable fine controls. Put the SAS on. And here we go, folks. If I don't tune to turn too much, we might be all right. Yep. I, I let let's see what happens. I would love to be able to bring this booster back down. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but let's see. So we'll launch. I've got to re get ready to put these landing legs in as well. Launching the vehicle in three, two, one. Landing legs in, full throttle, and we're going up. That is a good speed. Another reason you can tumble is when your aerodynamic profile is above your centre of mass. Yeah, that's, that's probably true. Okay, so we've just gone past 100 metres per second and we're coming up to one and a half kilometres. Uh, this, this is the Thrustmaster. This stick is the Thrustmaster. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start doing our turn until we get. I'm just gonna throttle back actually. There we go. We're just gonna we're just gonna cruise through this max QE sort of thing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna follow the prograde, but the problem is is that we haven't got. Uh, SAS for a prograde on this, so I'm going to have to do it manually. Smallest bit. Okay, it's starting to go. I feel like I need to pull it over a little bit more than this. We're already at 18,000 don't know what our height is and we need fuel for the boost back we are starting now to whoop steady get some good speed up and we're going in front of the prograde at the moment but we are right towards the top of what I think is the atmosphere let's cut the engines and do a quick map check map check says oh 54 we're not going to be able to do a boost back but we're certainly going to land it Okay, we're going to use all our fuel to try and get this into orbit. Oh, steady. It's a much better flight than last time. Yeah, it is. Let's just check what we're at now. Okay, let's just give it a blast. There's 80 kilometers. That'll do. Yeah, I could have actually used used that, the uh, manoeuvre mode. Didn't think of that. But we're up. We are up and we're floating. So as soon as we get high enough, we're actually going to stage separate this and we're going to hope that the upper stage has got enough to circularise and make an orbit. So getting ready and... Eject. Yep, looks like we've got a little bit of time. Let's uh, let's turn the engine on and get this thing burning for a while. Let's check this. We need to get this one so it's up high and going good. The nose co cone helped a lot. I think it was a combination of things. I think it was a combination of the fins, the nose cone. Uh, we would never really know unless we just did one at once. Now coast back to 70k and do the boost back. Swap your first stage in orbit and land the booster. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I've pushed that one out too far. But let's, let's swap back, I think. Do we swap back yet? I mean, the other one is still at 81k. I 
feel like... Yeah. We'll, we'll push it. We're gonna try. We're gonna try and get into an orbit. It's gonna be a bit, a bit of a wobbly orbit. Whoa! But we've got the fuel. I think. Let's just try and push that round a little bit. Let's just check that prograde marker. Yeah, we we've done it. We've done it. We've got it into orbit. Okay, we've got enough fuel to adjust the orbit later. Let's go back to. Why can't I go back to the other probe? Space Center. Can I go that way? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Load, load, load. Tracking station. Got it, whatever. Which one am I on? This one. Fly. I did, I did add a probe core on it. Here we go. It's ran out of electrical charge. It's going to crash. What did I say? I've got no control. It's just ballistic. Not enough fuel for a boost back. No. So booster, booster, booster three. Yep, yeah, look, there's a command capsule on the top. It's just got zero charge. It's just unfortunate. Yeah, no electric charge. If I'd have had the parts, I would have put solar panels on this. But again, parts limit. But we might actually have the money now, money now to change the part limit. To be fair, though, bringing this booster back was always going to be a secondary objective. What? I've got parachutes active. I don't think I've got parachutes active. I don't have enough parts for one solar panel. That's the problem. The, pa the parachutes are... I could have... I could have just maybe... Activated the parachutes? Yeah, I don't think it is active. Cruiser. I, I, I don't think it is. Because I'm pretty sure the drogue chutes would have opened by now. Oh well. Booster 3. Thank you very much for your service. You got us into orbit for the first time in this series. Nobody's going to die. Goodbye. You didn't need four landing legs. Um, I, it, well, <laughs> catastrophic failure. Let's go back to the tracking station. And we have our TR3, which hopefully we can fly and then rename. This is our Curbsat 1. So if I go... Oh, that noise shouldn't have come through. So, uh, configure vessel naming. There we go. Curbsat one. It's a. It's 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 a probe. I guess it's a probe. It's 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 definitely not a station. It's, it's I don't think it's a relay. I need to look into relays. That'll do for now. So in theory, this can now just float around Kerbin forever. It's got a no relay antenna, it's just got a standard antenna. What I'd like to do, seeing as we've got the fuel, is see about putting it in a nicer orbit. So we've got 87 there, so if we... You know what, we can, we'll just leave it there for now. You know what, we'll leave it then. We'll go back to Space Center. Mission sort of success.
Yeah, it's a, it has a direct antenna on it. There we go. No partial success. So we've actually got enough money now to upgrade the VAB. Uh, yeah, I'll wait until I do the, get like the tracking station and stuff. We'll, we'll save the fuel on that craft. Uh, you heard bis bird whistles. Yeah, I think Kerbin has birds. So there we go. Yeah, we can put it in a good orbit later. So we're going to upgrade the VAB. So this part problem of me not knowing exactly what I'm doing is, is, is brilliant. The next thing we're going to upgrade is the research and development because we want to be able to research the better can. You also need the launch pad to upgrade with that. You probably do, actually. Um, yeah, but that's only 50 thou. Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, sorry, not 50 thou. I think it was 5 thou. In any case, we've done it. Mission control, what have you got for us next? Explore Kerbin. What's this? A what? Return to Kerbin from orbit. Do you think we can bring that probe back? <laughs> I think we could. Would it survive re-entry? It hasn't got any parachutes. Shucks. Never mind. I, I wouldn't be able to bring it back, Brandon. But this is return from orbit. It doesn't have a docking thing or anything. What we're going to do is we're going to do a brand new booster like the one that we just did, except better and bigger. And we're going to get it up into space. And we're going to bring it back down again as well. It could. It may be light enough to land. I, d I don't know about that. Right, where's the TR3? Right, let's start with the TR3. In theory, overall, the TR3 was quite good. We can get into orbit, that's fine. This is all good. We're not bothered about the science on this one, so we'll get rid of that. And we have got solar panels here, so this time we're also going to put solar panels on this one. So we've got solar panels on there. I do need to land it, which means this one is going to have to have parachutes. So let's get some new drogue chutes on there. And some new parachutes on there. Get them in the right order. That all looks good to me. And then maybe we can actually land this. Now, I think... Hmm, see, the fuel wasn't great. I didn't really have a lot for the boost back. I would love to have more fuel, but then that would make it heavier. Oh, what if... And um, let's just move those winglets for now. What if we went with three engines rather than two? So this is like the TR3 Mark II or something. What does that give us n Or after I add another tank of fuel? There we go. Let's check it out. Do you need to land it? No, I don't. Do I want to? Yes, I do. <laughs> um, now the part limit doesn't matter. This This seems so much easier. Uh, do I need the antenna? I, do we ha I don't think we need an antenna on this bit, do I? Put one on anyway. Oh, we've... Uh, Seth, thank you very much for subscribing on YouTube. Welcome. I, d I definitely don't need to land it. But I'm going to try. Okay. 
let's see what our situation is now so we've added more fuel and one more engine and um, our thrust to weight ratio is now 1.73 on the first stage that's a good thrust to weight ratio on the first stage out of interest what happened what platforms do you stream on? I stream on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Uh, let's get that out of the floor. Something isn't right. See, that's got a thrust to rate ratio of 1.5, so that's actually better. Ooh, trust me on this, you don't need drogue shoots. You only need them when making something super heavy or something that's coming straight down too steep. Or heavy landing on a runway, you need to slow it down. Oh yeah, that's a good point actually. See, I never used to use drogue shoots, I just got so excited about them all all the time. Uh, there we go. Right, let's let's turn all that off because it's getting in my way. What? What we got? Three engines. We separate parachutes, engines, parachutes. Why have I? What happened? What just happened then? I I don't. Oh, we've gone on to a different view. There we go. Fixed it. Sorry, folks. What's the difference between drogue and normal? Drogue shoots uh, basically can survive faster speeds, but don't slow you down enough. So, rough, yeah, that's basically, they don't slow you down enough. But they do slow you down a bit. I want to try this. I think not only can I get that into orbit and bring the um, the thing from the top down again, I think I might be able to land this with a boost back. Test rocket four. Should we try it? Don't forget the batteries. I didn't add batteries, I added solar panels. But, you know what? That's a good call. Let's give it a, let's give it a battery or two. Because in theory, we're bringing this back. Where are you? F where am I from? I am English from England. Yeah, I mean, if you're travelling at 500 meters per second and you fire normal parachutes, they'll get ripped to shreds. Um. So I think we're ready. I mean, would it be best if I put all this inside a service bay? I kind of like the idea of that. Can we do that? Service bay, open, this lot, inside, that, there. Oh, I like that. Check the weight of your upper stage. I think it's not that heavy. What, why do I need to check the weight of my upper stage? Oh, without fuel? Uh, upper stage with no fuel is about a ton. Must remember to put the fuel back into that. Now also, before I forget, these solar panels are going to do no good on the inside of this vessel. There. For structure, that's much better. You don't need that many parachutes. Well, I'm going to have two. My plan was to have two, but for some reason I've got four. So, let's... I wonder if I can actually... Oop have it on the service bay module itself oh no I can't because that's where the doors are okay 
No, not one, two. There we go. I mean, we could change the nose cone for a Mark One parachute, but then I don't think the aerodynamics would be great. Should we use a service bay for this one as well? Yes, Hellish. Let's use a service bay for this one. Did I do that right? Yeah, it looks like it. What do I... I don't think I need these antennas, do I? Boop. I didn't mean to do that. Everything is fine. There. Oh, that just looks so much better, doesn't it? I don't need those antennas because I'm not, I'm not transmitting science or anything. Look, I've even got a silly antenna there. There we go. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. Now this is looking like a rocket. They look at the TR4. You could add science parts now for free R&D points. I suppose I could actually put some science to get some science from orbit. I've got I've got the parts for it and we are going to recover it. But the only thing is is that I'm not going to be able to put the science junior on there. But, you know, why not? Uh, free, free science is the best science, says Brandon. There we go. We've just put some science on the probes. Without putting the science junior on there, then, that's, that's the best we're going to get. Right then. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fantastic, isn't it? I might even be able to bring it back with a boost back burn. Okay, the TR4 is going up. Oh, I'm a bit excited about that. Oh, you don't know. Right, here we go. Don't you need the antenna to control the probe core? I don't think you do. Do you? I thought the antenna was for only for um, transmitting science and stuff. Yeah, I thought it was only for transmitting. I thought you could still pick up probe cores as they are. You're not sure in normal mode. <gasps> Ooh. Should we slap some basic antennas on this thing just in case? Hmm. Should we go should we go without? We're gonna go without and see what happens. We're going for the gamble. This will probably be fine. Won't it? <laughs> okay. Here we go, folks. Probe into space, landed. This will probably work. And with the uh, with the the jobby thing. Uh, right. Okay. Thank you for this uh, redeeming. Probably work, Jackamac. Fifty, fifty, five hundred kilometers. I have no idea. I have no idea. You're checking a minute, right? Well, we're going up now. SAS on. Throttle to maximum. Every uh, every port has a build uh, has build in 5k says Kerbal Wiki. Okay, so we're probably fine. Three, two, one, launch, and legs in. You know how you said four legs was too many. Now we've got six. Okay, we're going. We're going to end up going. T no, actually, we're doing all right on speed. I'm just not going to touch the stick for a little while. Okay, I'm gonna gonna pull that throttle back to two thirds. 
I want us to slowly accelerate now that we're we're going at this stage. We've used a lot of fuel already just to get up three kilometers. The tracking station's upgraded, it may amplify the signal. That's a good point, that. Right, I'm going to start turning at about 6k because I want to do it really slowly. Here we go. Speed is looking smack on. Here we go with our first... Did I say 6k? I meant 8k. Just starting to pitch over now. Just starting to pitch over. We're still getting faster. We're still climbing. We're picking up a small bit of rotation, but I'm going to try and correct that. There we go. Whoa, the vessel jumped a bit then. We're at 21k. I'm going to throttle down and just switch to show. Right, uh, we're up to 32k. We need to, uh, as a as a max, we need to burn more. I don't think this has been a particularly good run up. 36k, 37, 38. We're not going to have enough fuel for our boost back. At least I don't think so. I think we spent too much time going sideways instead of going up. I mean, we're definitely going to get this thing into orbit. But it's whether we can do a boost back, and I don't think we can. Right, there's an 80k. As soon as we're in space, we'll separate. We do have some fuel. So we might be able to do it. Use atmospheric engines at low altitude to add more efficiency. Yeah, I suppose that's another thing that we could try. Okay, um, we're going to separate as soon as we can. So get ready for the separation. As soon as we're in space, we'll separate. And then we need to boost the, the first stage into an orbit. In time to come then back to the first stage and try and do a boost back. So we're at 67 kilometers now, 68. Nearly in space at the 70, and there's the separation. And we're going to turn that engine on. Whoa, what happened? What happened? What happened there? Whoa, steady. Don't know what whether it was me or what, but... Right, let's see what the situation is here. Okay, we're doing quite good. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to put an orbit in in time to get back to the TR4 uh, probe. But we are looking quite good. We're a little bit in front of ourselves, so I'm going to try and adjust for that. Here we go. Okay, that's an orbit. Quick, we need to switch back. Why can't I switch back? Do I have to go back to the tracking station and then go to it? Aim a bit lower for orbit. Well, we've got it sorted now. We're in orbit. We want to get to the probe now that's dropping back down. We're going to fly that. I'm going to, I'm going to attempt the boost back. I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it. Look, here we go. Let's now... Uh, have we got control of it still? What's our fuels and stuff like? Our electrical charge is fine. Okay, here we go. Here's the boost backs. We're still in space, actually. We definitely need more. We need more fuel for the boost back. But the closer back to the space station we get, the better. I like to do boost backs in this mo mode because you get to see the actual swap of the orbit. 
we're in full speed now I'm just going to try and adjust this ever so slightly we are twisted there you go so we're actually that's actually very bad because we're going to drop straight down that is not good at all actually we might be all right i don't know <laughs> i don't know no idea at all um and i don't know if i let's have a look our probe core says it's got reaction wheels so that's okay Square bracket keys to swap between closed ships, isn't it? Yes, but I don't think my ships were close enough. Oh, I think we're going to be ballistic on this. Oh, no, actually, no, I'm holding it. I'm, I'm actually managing to get this back. If I can get this point in the right way, right on its bum, I no, I I don't have drove shoots on this stage. I think we we're going to lose it again. Twenty k up. I don't see this one slowing down enough for these shoots, but this isn't the important bit. This is only a test. Yeah, let's go sideways. No, I can't go sideways now. We're falling too fast. We can't use the body as a wing. It's too late. We're too fast. Oh, actually. We've slowed down enough. I, I actually managed to control it down onto its bottom enough. I don't think these chutes are going to rip off. Let's open the chutes now. They're going to be a bit on the edge. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh! We pulled over 15 Gs. Pulled over... Well, it worked. We got it back. We've managed to... Rec well, let's we can extend the landing legs. I mean, we don't need to for a water landing. Oh dear. Yeah, 8 meters per second with two shoots, that's fine. So, we'll land this, we'll go back up to the one in orbit and we'll bring that one back down. That'll be easier. And we'll get lots of science and money for it. Here we go, booster is back in the water. Oh, the rock, the engines fell off. Oh, and it broke up. I think we need more parachutes. The parachutes were what made it fall over gently. Although it's this is designed to land on land, so... Oh well, never mind. I don't know if there's any more parts out there that got wrecked or lost or whatever. Where are we? Uh, no idea. Right, where's our probe? It's not curb sat one, it's the other one. Where is it? Oh, is that it? There, TR4, let's fly that. The parachute won't help when it falls over. It'll make it fall over slowly. Right then, um, we are currently orbiting. Let's do the science. So, log temperature. Um... Apparently we've already done that. Yeah, we've we've already done the science, uh, the space stuff when we went up and back down again. Never mind. We have to be further out to get any more. Right, let's bring it back and get the money from the contract. Let's have a look at our orbit and see what it's like. Hmm. We've got the fuel. It would be nice to try and land it at the space center.
when you touch down parachutes cut straight away yeah well they are to a point let's um time warp until we get round to the other side and then we'll do our uh retrograde burn which we're gonna have to do manually there we go that's why it's hard to land on mountains yeah i hate trying to land on mountains right now we actually haven't got control at the moment uh, because we've got no electrical charge. Can we not, like... Oh, are we just in the perfect plane that neither of the... Oh. Are you kidding me? What? Hang on a minute, doesn't activating an engine... Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I, I am losing the charge. I think it's the probe core which is... which is actually using up the charge. I'm trying to roll it. I've got uh, let's let's try and roll it. Actually, I think it is Is it that way? I I twist. Can we we can't even turn SAS on. Oh, I can't believe this. We've got a satellite. Oh, hang on. We actually ended up with a little bit of charge then for a split second. I don't believe this. It's got the fuel, but it's not got the charge to... That put solar panels on it. Hmm. We're going to have to send up another one. We're going to have to send up another one and just leave this one in space. I don't think there's anything I can do. Oh. That actually... No, yeah. That is very unlucky. It's like it's almost perfect. Look at the energy flow. It's just... It's having some, but it's tiny. <sighs> right. TR5. I'm I'm not going to cheat it. I'm not going to cheat it. I know I could cheat it. I'm not going to. Right, so TR4 didn't make it back because I didn't have enough fuel. Also, I don't think the engines were right. Because these ones I don't think have brilliant efficiency. So, we're going to go from 3 back to 2. We're going to put a Reliance. No, a Swivel on the bottom. And then add one more tank. And... We're also going to move the solar panels down and put them in a triple array so that at least one of them will get something. Same here. Always in a triple array. And then just for safety, we're going to add the drogue shoots back on, on this one. Just in case. Uh, let's get the second stage there. Drogue shoots. 
uh, this this is all mixed up separation that engine wants to be with those two that's fine with separation those ones want to be before those ones yeah I think we're fine now so what what's our thrust to weight ratio is 1.6 yeah drogue on the first stage yeah drogue on the first stage we've got drogue on the first stage we've uh, moved the solar panels around and that is much better we, there's no science that we need to take for this mission we're not going to get any new science from from taking these up so it's just pointless let's take them off and then we just need to adjust the bottom here we're going to get this to land back at the space center probably there we go <laughs> you said that the last two times yeah it's because I'm a positive sort of person um, so I'm happy with the thrust to weight and I'm happy that I've got more fuel but lifting more fuel up takes more fuel yeah okay let's try again this is the TR5 to be fair I did bring back the first stage last time it did break apart when it landed we could have a falling over shoot well, hang on a minute how many shoots have we got on that oh I've accidentally put three on hang on a second hang on that's not right I don't know how it got three on there, but I, I wanted two normal shoots, and then we'll have a falling over shoot as well, just in case. So let's take those off. And add two on there. There we go. That's better. Do we need a falling over? No, we're going to land this on land, and it's going to land, and it's going to be beautiful. Set up the drogue shoots to 2,500. What are they set to at the minute? Out, they are set. Normal shoot to 1,006. Uh, they're 1,004, so... I mean, I could activate them with the decoupler. That shouldn't be a problem, but there we are, TR5. Oh, from... Two zero oh, now I'm going to do it manually. I'm going to do it manually because I like it. Okay, so we actually failed in our mission to bring back um, our probes. Now we've got two probes in space. Uh, one that we is one that's alive. I think it might be dead now because I don't know if it's got solar panels on it or not. That we can bring back, but it has no parachutes. But if I have enough fuel, I might be able to land it in the sea. And another one which we can't control, so we'll see. Uh, okay, so we're going to give this a go. We're going to try and get this into orbit, boost back the booster, land it on the land, and then bring the orbit thing back to the ground again. Uh, just checking the chutes. Yep, that all looks good to me. All right then. Uh, SAS on camera on and we're going to launch need to get ready to retract those landing legs full throttle because launching without throttle actually wouldn't matter at the minute because we're using landing legs but let's see what happens let's, let's give it a go That was a fantastic run. <laughs> oh my goodness, how much did that mistake just cost me? 
I pulled on the stick and the SAS system just threw it off the pad. <laughs> Look, we got debris everywhere. Oh my goodness. I'm glad this was an unmanned mission. That's why these are test rockets. They won't let me back in the space center. What's going on? Save game. What? Um, let's try quick into main menu to see if that... I might just be in the wrong mode or screen or something. Resume saved. Let's play season 2. Load. Yeah, I just I just blew the blew the rocket up by accident by pulling on the stick when I wasn't meant to. Right. Why can't I access the space center? Am I still in flying mode? That's the manual. I don't want that. No, I didn't blow up the launch pad. Pause menu. What's going on? The explosion wasn't too bad and it fell off the launch pad. Uh I can't revert. Revert's not an option. Resume. Have we What's going on? I, d I did start the engine as it pushed off the pad. Settings. Well, folks, this is a bit weird. I've never had this before. I can exit to the pause menu. I can resume. Go back to main menu. It exploded right outside the launch pad. But there's nothing else I can do right now. Make a new save. Uh, you think I need to restart? A full restart. Uh, quick save zero zero one. I don't think I've done a quick save in this before. Okay, so it's quick save in. Okay, I did press escape. I have pressed escape. It won't do anything. Just gonna just test going back in straight away. Then we'll try restarting the game. Yeah, and it brings up the pause menu. Right, folks. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit weird. We're, we're actually just going to have to restart the game. Uh, we'll see what happens. Now, whenever I do live Let's Plays or I do... Um, uh, well, anything really. I, I did double click on the assembly building. I've clicked on everything. It's just nothing. Absolute nothing. It's weird. Um, whenever I do live streams or um, YouTube videos, I always um, do a separate game save for each episode. So, worst case scenario, we'll go back to the end of episode one, just relaunch the things that we've launched. We'll actually gain a small advantage because 
we lost a couple of the early rockets then and we won't lose them but let's do this restart and see what happens so that is weird but we did manage to reach our target of upgrading the vehicle assembly building yeah yeah I, I remember when uh, KSP used to be a lot more unstable than what it is now um, it is certainly much more stable these days and the um, the physics when you um, time warp is so much better now than it used to be as well Brandon says, I wish I was smart enough for KSP. I, it's not a matter of smart, Brandon. It's a matter of just learning and researching and figuring things out as you go as well. Right. Start game. We're just going to go in and resume save straight away. Let's see what happened. Ah, oh, it's fixed. Look, I can go straight in. So restarting the game fixed that. Brilliant then. Um, what, what did we do? Well, that's it. We're relaunching the TR5. Oh, th it only cost me 13,000. That's not a problem. What's 13 grand when you're a space agency? We're going to try again. It's not like you need rocket science. You need to know rocket science. Here we go then. Thrust to maximum. I'm not going to touch the stick in terms of directionals. ASS, uh, SAS on. We'll bring the f the other fuel overview up on the screen as well, just because it's easier to see. And then I will stage. And I'm only go oh, we're going to bring in the legs. And I'm only going to touch the accelerator once we get up to 100 meters per second. Maybe 150. I'm going to start to throttle back. I suppose... Do we want to get out the thickest parts of the atmosphere quickly? I don't know. Right, I'll throttle back to two-thirds. Throttling back just a little bit more. So we're just going to cruise up now through the thick part so we don't go too fast. I mean, I would say that Kerbal Space Program did teach me some rocket science. I should start doing the roll maneuver. Oh, I should start doing the roll maneuver. There we go. Yeah, then the pitch forward is W, yeah. Okay. Uh, here we go then. Oh yeah, because I've got these two engines on the side now. Right, let's get that um, manoeuvre mode. We need to, as soon as we know we're up to about seventy-five, eighty. That's all we need. That's all we need. Oh, I think we might do this. This is going to be close. Right. There we go. Let's, uh, let's... Uh, can I separate these while they're in atmosphere? Yes, and they'll be quite close together, but I need to wait until we get higher up. Okay. We're going to stage separate. And then I... Th I think I'm going to use the reaction to try and get this aligned, ready for its orbit burn. So there's our first stage. We're going to try and land that back at the Space Center. Looks like there's a piece of debris down there on the floor that we'll have to check out later. We have to wait until both bits are in space because of the physics engine. It's right there with us, though. It's only... Um, just make sure you stay within two kilometres while you're in 70k. Yeah. I mean, it's just there. There we are. We are almost certainly now in space. So let's activate that engine. 
bye bye first stage so we're now pushing out it's a little bit in why well, it's quite inefficient to do it here because I have to actually push myself in a slightly different manner to get this orbit but I'm sure we'll be all right I mean, we don't have to reach orbit. We just have to get ourselves in a trajectory which tra trajectory, which keeps us in space long enough. So I think we're just about to make this. Whoa, there we go. That's fine. That is fine. We've got that. The probe is fantastic. So we go back to the tracking station. Then we're going to go to the TR5 probe, which is the actual returning booster. And then we're going to try and return it. We're going to try and get this back to the space center. So we're going to go full retrograde on this. Give it a little of a boost to turn it. And then full throttle. Have we got enough fuel? Have we got enough fuel? Oh, I think we might. Oh, it's going to be really close. It's going to be really close. Well, we're going to land it on the land. That's for sure, but it's a bit twisted. I wonder if we can use the last little bit of fuel to try and do something about that. Uh, I want to go down this way, I think, to make it better. Oh, no, 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 we need to go retrograde. That was a bad burn. Okay, now we're spinning badly. Okay, we're going to wait until we get retrograde, and then we're going to try and... Okay, that that's it. That's all our fuel. That, that's all our fuel and we're spinning wildly. Electrical charge is fine though. So I'm going to, I'm going to attempt to uh, arrest that now. I mean, it's not going to work. But, you know, at some point... I mean, we, we are relatively... Actually, should I... No, well, we're, we're, we're coming back down. Yeah, I suppose I could use the winglets on the top. This is why the Falcon 9 first stage has grid fins on the top. Because I wouldn't have had to try and use my liquid fuel then. Where are we coming to, coming into land? Oh, looks like we might be coming into land in the foothills of the mountains. Which is not good. RCS thrusters, yeah, that could have done the trick. I mean, we're coming in back down now anyway. Um, looks like we might actually come the right way down. Yep, boom first. Here we go. We're probably going to fall over because we're going to land on uneven ground. But as soon as we're able to, I'm going to get ready to deploy. Let's get those landing legs out. I'm going to turn the SAS off. So that it is just purely by its own power. Drogue shoots. Drogue shoots are doing their job. We might actually land... On the top... Oh, we're going to land on the side of a hill. This is not good. Oh, I didn't deploy the chutes in time. 
Actually, that wasn't too bad. I'll take that as a partial success. We should do a viewer plus Factorio thing sometime. Yeah, maybe we should. It'll flip over 100%. It was cool. It's fine. We've recovered it. It's fine. Let's go up to the tracking station and now actually recover this third thing. We've got Curbsat 1, Curbsat 2, which is probably still dead. Uh, yep. <laughs> it's still in the darkness. Actually, fully... Re I don't know about fully reusable, but I, d I do love... I do... I do like Factorio. I do feel like I've played it quite a bit, so I'm not sure about it. But anyway, here we go. This is the satellite we're actually trying to get back now. I think if we hadn't have landed that in the hills, we probably would have been okay. Alright, so where about our whereabouts are we in our orbit? Uh let's let's wait until it's on the light side again. Just above the desert here. There we go. Now, let's get it pointing retrograde. Electrical charge is fine. There's no batteries on this one. It's just solar panels. So the smallest amount of engine throttle possible in order to turn it. And then I'm going to use the map for this because I want to try and just bring it down somewhere near the space center. So I'm just doing the throttle. And we're going to try and just aim for like this island. Ah, that's, I've, I've undershot. We are almost certainly not going to land this at the space center. The reaction control wheels are actually doing quite a good job, as actually. Uh, okay, in that case, uh, we're on our way back. Let's see if we can recover this. And that's what the mission was for. Okay, let's just make sure that we're pointing our bottom the right way. Right, we're in atmosphere now. So our shape of our aircraft should... Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a bit of a weird shape, but I think we're okay. Kind of skimming off the top of the atmosphere rather than pointing into it, I think. Let's. Ah, oh, it's because of the time warp. The time warp is giving it a push. Right. If we have a look at the map, we'll see that coming in through the atmosphere is just reducing our trajectory a little bit. Retrograde burn at the center, aiming at the island as a starting point. Well, that island, yeah. I mean, I'm in the atmosphere now, so I'm not going to be able to actually do any sort of burn. We're going to probably land... Maybe we're in the mountains again. But never mind, here we are. We're coming back in. Coming back in now. Trying to keep it stable. Which is weird. You'd think that it would want to keep itself stable. But for some reason it doesn't seem to want to. Seems to be want to be like off kilt. Maybe it's to do with the way that the parachutes are placed. Uh, the engine has an overheat warning, but it's at its minimum amount. It's not going to cause us any problems. 
Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I'm really fighting it now. 27 kilometers up. Power and everything looks good. Still one and a half kilometers a second we're going on the surface. Still 24 k we just dropped beneath. It's not doing too bad. It's not doing it's almost certainly gonna come back. Just wonder if we're gonna smash in 20 mountains, that's all. 21 kilometers up. My I'm really pulling on this stick now. Here we go. We're coming into the thicker stuff and we're slowing right down. Pulling two G's. A roll may stabilize it. Yeah, let, let's do a bit of a roll. Mm, there. Let's have the roll like that. No, it's still not quite right, you know. Oh, well, it's ballistic now. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping that this will slow down enough. You can see that this is the land mass, and just on the other side of those mountains, that's where the space center is. That's what I was aiming for. So I'm on the right continent. <laughs> I'm on the right continent. We're going slow enough that we can open chutes, but I'm not going to yet. We could we could try turning the SAS system off. That's probably gonna like help the situation. Right, shoots coming. Mm. I mean, we could probably slow it down by doing a big tilt, but it won't let me. Okay, shoots. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Oh, before I hit the atmosphere, start a fast roll. Yeah. Yeah, um, spin. Spin stabilization. I forgot about spin stabilization. That's spin stabilization. That's a good thing. Okay, so we pulled nine Gs then when the parachutes opened. It's not enough to rip them apart. There we go, folks. Well, we're going to achieve the contract, and we actually brought back most of the booster even though my targeting was terrible the boost back burn worked this time so the TR5 is a vehicle uh, it's impressive that you save the engine and the fuel tank I think most of the time just save the core and the science yeah we've actually brought back everything so the TR5 is actually a hundred percent reusable if it doesn't crash so fantastic Cody Croft thank you very much for the follow there's a twitch follow there so again a reminder um, these are kind of tests we're in the early phase of our space program there's nobody on board um, Brandon and Sixer and Lexi and Jackamac yep they're the four um, they're not at risk at the moment but there we go, recover the vessel, and that's going to trigger the success for the mission, if it doesn't crash. It's, it's unlikely to crash now, I think. Okay, so we've recovered that, and the contract has now been completed. Fan. What, I don't know what I clicked. So we've got Curbsat 1, which is... Let's have a look at Curbsat 1. How's it going? Because I don't know what its electrical charge and stuff's like. So Curbsat 1 does have solar panels fantastic but again they're in an orientation which is not great so let's let's just turn it uh, like that there we go so that when we're going round we're actually going to get electrical charge there we are curbsat one where we can log the temperature and transmit it not enough electrical charge uh, 
There you go. We've, we've now got two useless sats in orbit. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't believe that. We've got one that's not dead but can't transmit, and we've got one that can return. But it's yeah, we've got we've got two lots of space junk there now. We we need to rename them. Can I can I just click on them to rename, or do I actually have to fly it? Brilliant. Two useless satellites now. So we're going to change the name of this rename vessel. This is going to be Space Junk 1. And we'll actually leave it as a probe. Because if we put it as debris. No, actually, no. Debris. Space Junk 1. Back to the tracking centre. We'll sort the other one out. Right, let's see. How long have we been going for? We've been going for just over two hours now. Oh, I need to turn Space Junk on. Here. Oh my goodness, we've got all sorts of things to sort out. And then TR4, we've got... There's bits of debris all over the planet that we need to recover. So this is the one that's dead. Because the probe keeps sucking all the life out of the... Uh, the photo panels. It's got direct sunlight, but it's not enough to do anything. Like, we, we can't do anything. Uh, I mean, we could open a parachute. We can't even open a parachute. So this one, we're going to rename. I can't even rename it because I can't get in. Surely. Surely I can rename it somehow by... Like, click... I can't even click on the probe inside. Oh, well, never mind. Rendezvous it with Kerbal and push it. <laughs> a Kerbal can go up there and use his jet box to give it a push. So the panels will get some light. Yes, we will do that. Not now, because I don't trust the, sh the aircraft I'm making yet. Yeah, it's because I could, there's no electricity, I can't even open it. So that's two different pieces of space junk. But we've actually got some debris to pick up. So we've got some debris in the water over here from our little upper. We'll recover that. Uh, we've got more... More day. We've got debris all over the place. Uh, we've got TR4 probe that landed in the water. We can recover all the bits from that. And then the TR5 probe that crashed in the mountains, we can recover that. And all the bits of the TR4 that fell apart. There we go, we've cleaned everything up now. Right, now what's our status on our science? 65. We need 90. Be able to even open up anything else. So we need more science. How are we going to get more science in this early stage of the game? I suppose we could try visiting the poles. Uh, we could get the TR5 and launch a probe to the pole. And then we can launch a probe. Right, let's make a science version of the TR5. Because we can send one to the desert as well. So open the TR5. Just check it over. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this TR5. The only reason the TR5 booster didn't make it back was because of my piloting. That's why. Uh, that all we need to do uh, was we're not actually trying to get into orbit with this one. So we can afford to put a Science Junior on the bottom. That should be fine, I think. And we don't want to... Do we want to transmit? No, we don't want to transmit it. We're going to recover it. 
but we do need to add the other science instruments. So one science instrument to the art science instrument. There we go. Let's see if we can get this over to the desert first. The TR5 going out once again with science. I've just realized the TR5 actually hasn't got landing legs, which could potentially be useful. Right, so this time we're going to go to the desert, but we're going to go that way. <laughs> we're going to go up and we're not going we're going to do the sideways burn with the second stage or something. I don't know, I'm making this up now. Not a clue. Um throttle up, launch, landing gear. I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing this now. Not a clue. We're actually going to uh, start... Once we get past 100 meters per second, we're going to start a throttle down. And we're actually going to start a small tip to the left. That's enough. Whoa. Whoa. I think I've managed to fix that. Damn. No. Right. What's going on? Yeah, that's terrible. Wait for it. Wait for it. There. There. That's it. I've got it. I fixed it. No, oh, no. Oh, ah, it's, it's inverted controls. I never stay with the prograde. There we go. The, 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 the. Oh my goodness! Look at that. That's terrible. Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna cancel this. We're gonna try and bring the whole lot down. Whole lot's coming down in one jobby. So, uh, I mean, I don't know if we'll be able to land this, but I'm just going to try and arrest our sideways motion there. Boosters back a little bit to the flat land. Here we go. What on earth am I doing? This I'm just lobbing this rocket around. Oh, it's going to end up in the water? No, we don't want that. Right, hang on a minute. Next time it swings around. Actually, that, that looks like it's probably going good. We're aiming straight back for the space centre. Sir Bobby says, uh... Just found you watching your tutor uh, TTD tutorials right now. Seems uh, complicated. It's not complicated. It's fine. It's not a problem. Right. Uh, drug shoots. Map. Map says... Oh, if we get this back on the launch pad. It's never going to go back on the launch pad though, is it? No, okay. Um, SAS off. Um... Normal shoots out, other shoots uh, out, and landing legs out. I might be able to land this. I know only the first stage is supposed to land. Yeah, I think we've got this. It'll be close enough to recover like 99% of the cost. Yeah, we've still got some fuel left in it as well. So I can try again before we go to bed. Right, let's, let's fast forward this. The only thing is if it does fall over, but I don't think it will. Just going to warp down until we're touching down on the ground. 
Oh, I didn't put the um, camera up. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's quite a bounce. But we recovered it. I did not mean to do that. That, that didn't go well. Let's recover the vessel. Yeah, the lang landing legs are alright. They're strong enough. It is flat. That's why I boosted back. To I, I, I did a successful boost back. Um, did I save that variant of the TR5? Yes, I did. Look, the science is there. Right, try again. Desert. Desert gonna go to desert and then maybe what i'll do between streams is the thing that i did to the desert i'll do to the poles right sas on throttle to maximum launch leave it oh landing legs helps if i put them away doesn't it From the space center, you can see the autosave if you mount over the launch pad. Oh, okay. Right. Four kilometers up. Gonna nudge the craft over slightly. Just throttling back. I don't want it to be a complete up and down. I want this to be very sideways. So I'm just trying to really gently push that prograde over. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to just... Like, leave the engines at like one third throttle probably. Okay, let's have a look. What we've got, what we got. Yep, that looks good. Oh, we're up to 81. We, we just want to go sideways. We're in the very thin atmosphere now, so... Now, in theory... Oh no, oh no, I did it again. I pushed it the wrong way. Made things worse. In theory, I think I've got enough for a boost back. Because I haven't gone far. And I can use the upper stage to get over there, so... Let's see what happens. Stop swinging round. Come on, I, want, I don't really want to be using this fuel now. Oh my goodness, wrong controls. Right, okay, quick. Detach. Ignite engine. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. No. Stop. Stop. There we go. Right, how far are we going with that one? Oh yeah, the desert's a little bit that way, so... Maybe a bit of a push in this direction might be a good idea. That's enough, that's enough. Okay, here we go. Bit of a twist. We've got plenty of fuel to get us there, almost, probably. Oh god, we need more of a twist. Whoa, that's too much twist. No, it isn't. That's about right. Whoa! Um.
Let's just give it a bit more of a nudge. Okay, that's probably going to be fine. Like, let's switch back. You need to add some reaction wheels. Nah, reaction wheels are for people who don't know. I don't know, actually. Uh, right, okay, what have we got here? We've got the probe. The TR5 probe. Yep, let's fly that. Have we got enough fuel to get this back to the space centre? I hope we have. Can I fly it the right way? Probably not. Right, we're, we're facing the wrong way. So, let's try this. Yep, that looks about right. And I want to run away back down. So there we go. Is that going to make it? Is that going to make it? It's going to be close. And this will probably work this 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 will probably work uh, I don't know whether I need to go this way to twist it or not is that gonna get worse or better worse or better it's better whoa, whoa. come on oh my goodness the problem is, is I need throttle to be able to control this because I've got a lack of reaction wheels. Right, prograde now, I think. Yeah, where's my prograde? Where is my prograde? This isn't good. I think I'm upside down. Yeah, I, I kind of am. There's my prograde. I kind of need to be in both modes at once. Never mind. Okay, where's my prograde? Where's my prograde? There it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's, that's, I'm pretty sure I'm just rocketing into the ground. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to do this by eye. I'm going to do this by eye. This is the only way for me to do this. The map is confusing me. Okay, that's all the fuel gone. I managed to get the bum facing down. Oh, what what happened to the... Oh, silly screen thing. When did that happen? Right, here we go. We're going back down then. Let's see if we're going to be alright. About five minutes ago... It's the problem when I'm concentrating and I've got keyboard shortcuts we need sorting out. Right. Drogue shoots. I forgot to deploy the shoots. Oh. Well. We lost one engine again. Right, okay, quick tracking station. Why can't I go to the tracking station? Because it's wobbling around. Oh, let's recover it. Yeah, the thing is, is that... I don't... Yeah. The problem is, is that I'm concentrating here and all the chats are over there. Okay, let's get to the tracking station and get to the other guy. What's this guy doing? How much fuel's it got? It's re-entering. Uh, it's not re-entering the right way round, so let's put its bum in first. May as well use up that fuel. We can give it a roll. I don't know if that'll help. I'm not sure if this water is going to count as water or whether it's going to count as desert. 
You like to watch my face too. That's no good. It's really not rolling. It doesn't want to roll. <laughs> that manoeuvre was podcast only. Well, it was something, I'll tell you that now. Okay, let's let's just... Uh, this is not going to be desert. This is going to be shores again or something. Ugh. You know what? We could do a you've got the wrong thing and have it as a moderator jobby and get it to actually play an audible thing. Yeah, I think this will be water as well. So let's deploy these chutes. It's probably going to be upside down. It should be free for you to use. Yes. Well, that's what I'll do, Jack. I think that's a good solution to the problem. The problem is is that I use keyboard shortcuts to switch between frames and if I accidentally catch one of those keys it changes the scene um, without me without me noticing. So I might just turn it all off. Yeah, I, yeah, I think so, Jack. We'll get. We'll, what I'll do is I'll set something up for the moderators ready for next stream. We shouldn't have that problem again. So you need to get a stream deck. The stream deck's the same, unless well, well, no, I suppose I wouldn't catch the keys, would I? Anyway, let's have a look. I did try and buy a stream deck, but the one I wanted was out of stock. Uh, yeah, sure. So, oh, well, it doesn't look like we've done a temperature or pressure scan from the shores before we've almost certainly done a goo though yeah maybe maybe a stream deck or something like just like a macro pad or something I don't know yeah it's the mid-sized one I couldn't get Jack the only one they had in stock was the th uh, six key one and I thought if I'm going to do it I want more than more than that Right. We're going to do it again. You guys didn't get to see it and it and it was a failure. So we're going to do it again. This is it. It's going to be good all the way. Not going to mess this one up probably. Right. This this will probably be fine. Maximum throttle SAS on. How much is this costing? I don't know, Brandon. But we need the science. So, launch. Landing legs in. I think it costs about 15,000 each time I launch one of these. But you've got to remember, I'm recovering nearly all the parts. So it's costing me the fuel. 138 pound, that's a lot of money. I don't really have the budget but if we had like 15 people go and buy viewer plus for a, for a year then i'd be able to afford it Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and feel a lot, a lot better about this. It's the joystick which makes this so difficult. I'm following that prograde marker really well though this time. He says, lacking behind slightly. Oh, look at that for a turn. Is that called the gravity turn? Okay, I'm going to save the rest of the fuel now, I think. What are we at? What are we at? 
Ah, uh, we're not quite into space. I mean, I know we're going against the planet rotation, so... There we are. Now we're going to be in space. Right, let's um, separate. And... Uh, these, until we're in space, these two need to be kilometres, like, within two kilometres apart. So we need to get ready, and as soon as we're in space, I mean, I can get this positioned in the right manner. I don't know. I think we need a slight... Yeah, I think there should be good. Or maybe here. So as soon as we're in space, we can just punch it. Let's just check the map. Yeah, I want to just try and aim for this sandy area. Okay, we're in space. That's definitely a good trajectory. If anything, though, we are a little bit... A little bit off... I think... There's going to be better. I've just got to... I've just got to, like, account for the drag. That's got to be almost. That's got to be almost perfect, right? Switch. I can't switch. We're too far away. Uh, tracking station. Okay, so that one is on a suborbital trajectory. What joystick is that? You're currently looking for one. It's the Thrustmaster. Fantastic. And it is fantastic. Oh, Jack just tipped. What did Jack tip for? Anything specific? Thank you very much for the tip, Jack. I had 10% of the stream deck. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to get back to that in a second because I need to see if I can get this booster back to the launch site. It's, again, I think it's going to be close. It's looking pretty good. Whoa, no, no, oh, steady. Okay, we still need to crawl it a bit more. We're not going to make launch site. But it is going to be close. Come on. Fantastic. Come on. Well, oh, I thought we'd run out of fuel then, but we hadn't. There we go. We're now out of fuel, and apparently we're spinning madly. Uh, hopefully we're going to make it before the other one crashes into the... Oh my goodness, they're both going to enter the atmosphere at the same time. Um. Oh my goodness, what do I do? Uh, uh, that's at 50, that's at 39... This one should come in quicker. I should always save a bit of fuel to stop my rotation. There. No. Oh, my goodness. Come on, we have to go bomb first. Well, bomb first, it's heaviest that way. Here we go. Here we go, folks. A drogue shoots will be coming out soon. 
Or at least I'll enable the drogue shoots. Let's get this booster back. This is working. This is working. Save fuel or add a reaction wheel. Yeah, you're right. I need to add a reaction wheel, don't I? Okay, uh, we're 10 kilometers up. I'm going to arm those first shoots. Drogue shoots should come out first. The probe is more important. You're tr true, the po probe is more important, but I. Yeah, I'm opening the shoots up. Right. Both sets of shoots are now armed and out. Landing legs are out. As soon as this is down, we need to cut to the other one. And hopefully we can land that. I don't know if this is going to stay upright. Be nice if it did. Let's have a look at tracking. Where's the other... Yeah, we lost the probe. Because it didn't stay in space long enough. Arr! Maybe we should put it into orbit and then just land it. Like, could go all the way around. Okay, oh, we lost... Uh, we lost quite a lot on that one. I don't know if it's because we was under acceleration or not open the shoots much later yeah maybe maybe <laughs> like suicide burn later I kind of don't want to give up on this Yeah, that's the problem. If I don't open the chutes later, it's going to end up being too late. Oh, they're quite... They're not heavy, are they, the reaction wheels? Try, try, try again. That's how we learn. That's how we improve. By trying again and doing things again. Right, that'll do. This is still the TR5. It's just an, a variant of the TR5. Like, an improved TR5. You know, there's been no major changes. We actually successfully used a TR5 in a mission. Right. SAS on. This time, we're not going to fight the rotation of the planet. We're going to go round and land the other way. It gives us more time. Okay. Here we go then, folks. To orbit. In three, two, one. Landing legs in. Yeah, we're going to put this, we're going to put this in orbit and then land it on the other side if we can. So, Fantastic. whilst <laughs> the luxury model, the TR5, we're actually got a few tips coming in, folks. So bear with me a moment while I throttle back because we're going a bit fast now at three kilometres up. So, yes, thank you very much, Jack. And Mackie says he donated 10% of the stream deck at $19.99. Thank you very much. And then Cruz, uh, or Cruzo. Sorry if I got it wrong. I'm a bit rubbish at that. Uh, also, I need to start turning. I'll get back to you in a second. If somebody could spell it phonetically for me, then I will... I will do a much better job. Cruise. Okay. I could do cruise. I'm now looking at my other chat. I have the chat in the Streamlabs on my right, and I have just a chat on my left. I put a, just a chat on my left in the hope that I would actually be able to um, notice more of the chats quicker. 
Now we're up to 42k already and we've got plenty of fuel left. So this has been a good... Uh, actually, no, this is not great. It's not grass. Great. Your nickname comes from Robert and Crusoe. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, hang on. Right, okay. We might be alright here. We might be able to do this. Okay, let's separate. Activate the engine. And use the new SAS... Uh, new, sorry, the new reaction control wheels to turn this thing. We've also got more batteries in this. So this is getting more and more technical every time. Again, we don't want to start our burn yet because this both items need to be in space. As soon as you're below 70k, then you need to be within 2 kilometers of the item. So, I'm ready to full throttle this. We're we're lined up. I'm feeling good about this one. Cruise. Okay, I can do cruise. So, cruise donated $12.09. He says I was about to Start your funding for the stream deck, but somebody was faster. So thank you very much for the funding there. It is much appreciated. And DJ Egg, two minutes ago, uh, twelve dollars and nine for the stream deck as well. Well, you know what, guys? I uh, I don't know what to say. In You guys make this happen so much more than you believe. Thank you, all of you. To everybody in, who contributes in any way. It's, it's all amazing, it really is. Whoa! Throttled up too much there. Right, uh, I need to make sure that I got enough fuel to get back down again. So this wasn't the best of burns, but never mind. Should have enough fuel to get down whenever we want to. I don't seem to have the ability to s just switch to other aircraft. Yeah, Egg, Egg also did it as well. There's, it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Okay, folks, let's see if we can do a boost back on this one. So, there's where we want to be. This one's got SAS now, so... In th oh, it's got reaction wheels. It is very, very slow. Let's help it with a bit of throttle. I don't know if we've got enough fuel to get back to the land, but we're going to give it a try. If I can get this on the launch pad, then something's wrong with the universe. No, we're not going to make it back to land. We're going to get close, though. If there was a drone ship just there, you need to upgrade something. Yeah, I do need to upgrade something to be able to do that. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we've got reaction control wheels now, so we should be able to actually help with the re-entry, but the natural aerodynamics of this should kick in. Yeah, the net it is. It is kicking in. It's a good thing that this thing is very bottom-heavy. Like, you've got three engines at the bottom of what is now almost just a completely empty tube. I suppose the good thing about a water landing is, is I get to just recover it all. I shouldn't actually aim for the land. I should take off the landing legs. Just aim for the water. Anyway, let's get ready for those parachutes. It's too early for them just yet. We're going too quickly, but we're going to be decelerating very fast. We pulled about 5 Gs at the moment. Yeah, we are pulling about 5 Gs, I think. Seven kilometers up, and we're slowing down enough for drogue shoots. Drogue shoots now. And
and we can do main shoots now as well. Just out of interest, how slow will we go with just one main shoot? Deploy. I've manually deployed one of the shoots. Well, there we go, folks. I mean, we're a good percentage towards the stream deck there, so thank you very much. Uh, 12 metres per second. It's okay. It's not the worst. Um... Yeah, I mean I've I've got macro keys on my keyboard. It's just it's just a nightmare to fumble my fingers away around them all. Yeah. Okay, so two shoots is definitely needed to recover the whole thing. We actually managed to recover the the main main part there. The sound it made when it landed. Yeah, it was a little bit of a hard landing, but you know, I just wanted to try it with one shoot. Just see what it was like. We know now. One shoot is not enough. Okay, so now the second half of this mission. Uh, let's just pick up the debris. Because it did break up in the water a little bit. And we've got our TR-5 in orbit over here. We want to be able to then bring the... Bring it in so that it... Yeah, we, we actually want it to enter the atmosphere. So let's fly that. And I wonder if we can get it to hit the right spot. So there's the map. We're on the dark side at the moment. We want to hit this here. So I should be... We should have plenty of electrical charge for me to turn this around. Oh my goodness, it turns around like you wouldn't know it. What's that? Use astronauts, it won't break. Ooh, I'm not sure about this. Okay. What are we at here? 45. I think... I don't think that's right. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit. I might have done it. I might have done it. I think this is going to be... Oh, I don't know, actually. I'm not sure if I have or not. This is like the lowest... angle I've ever come in we've got a bit of fuel so that if it looks like we're going to overshoot I might be able to change it um yeah we're going to undershoot oh, it's a fail again I've missed it ah! yeah we're going to land in the water again fantastic brilliant Right, hang on a second, hang on a second. What if I do, like, whoa, a pro-grade burn with the rest of my fuel? Whoa, that's too much, stop. I was in time acceleration then. Well, I, I, I guess we could actually... The only problem is, is that if we run out of fuel and we're not able to then bring this probe back down. I think we might be all right. I might have done it. Do a retro burn near the crater, maybe. Fantastic. I think this is going to be good. Oh, this this looks this looks like I might have actually saved it. Oh no, no, no! It's not enough. It's not if we're going to short fall short of the desert still. We're going to have to use the last of the fuel up. And... 
change the time acceleration to try and just boost us that little bit back into the desert. Ah, look at that. I don't think we're going to make it. Oof. Yeah, t definitely careful with the time acceleration. I think if it wasn't for the time acceleration, then I would have had a much better day. But um, there we go. Maybe you should do a radial out, not prograde. Well, we've missed it now, anyway. Also, we're accidentally coming in front first. There we are. We're coming in back first now. Let's give it a spin. Turn SAS off. There we go. That should make it more stable. I'm glad there's nobody inside it, though. Oh, somebody just subscribed? <laughs> Big64, thank you very much for the Twitch sub. It slowed down again. I can speed it up. Uh... Let's put the SAS system on. See if I can actually point the engine much more. Something looks like it's about to explode. Oh, no, 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 no. Still want that there. Stop it, stop it. There's a bit of oscillations being picked up. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh dear. You was in your YouTube stream, but then you found the Twitch. The, the Twitch is the best bit. A SAS is on. I know SAS, SAS is on. See, so look, we can open this. We can do the science. We could log log temperature, log the pressure, observe the mystery goo. Yeah, it's it's it's. Yeah. This this isn't good. It's no good at all. Oh well, never mind. Uh, let's wait for this to crash. Not quite sure why it's spinning. I would have thought it would have bound to that curved surface. Yeah, landing without chutes is never a great thing. I mean, I suppose what we can try and do is if we turn SAS on, we can try and put our, our, our fat bum into the wind. I mean, it's not going to help. <laughs> it's still going to. It's still going to splash into the ocean. We do need a fail counter, but I haven't killed anyone yet. That's why I wanted these. Okay. Um. Yeah, we haven't killed anybody yet. We haven't killed anybody yet. The reputation of the company is good. We've got plenty of money. We actually gathered quite a bit of science then overall. I feel like I feel like we unlock heavy rocketry and then go to the moon. That's what I think we might need to do. Figure it out. We can add a fail counter maybe. The thing is is that it depends what you would call a fail, doesn't it? Right, okay folks. Well, it's night time once again and I feel like our TR5 isn't quite cutting the biscuit. I don't know whether it's my control of the craft or whether it's got something else on it, I'm not quite sure. You with the bay door open, you can do successful landings without shoots. That's crazy. Uh, what about the cake moon? Yeah, we'll go to the cake moon as well. Um 
Although, didn't we actually achieve the mission? And now we're missionless. Yeah, we're missionless. And explore the moon is actually the next thing to do. So we could do a fly by the moon, gather scientific data from the moon, and then return Kerbit from a flyby of the moon. So maybe, maybe do a flyby of the moon next time. I think an aircraft. Oh, God. I think I might have to do a vote or speak to the viewer plus subscribers and let let them count. We can rebuild. We, we only broke a few probes. And actually, we recovered quite a lot. So... I think I would do a lot better if I wasn't trying to recover the first stage. Um, so... Do we do we try and not keep the reusability? Or is that something we revisit later on? Let me know what you guys think. But for now, uh, that's going to be the end of this live stream. We've had some success. Some very minor failures. And quite a lot of half successes. So... Yeah, I think what we might do is, is we might ditch the rely uh, the reusability for a little while until we gain more experience, uh, gain more um, science. I want to be able to have that prograde and retrograde. It'd be nice if I could just set the probe to follow that prograde rather than having to do it manually. So, so yeah, and no deaths so far. This could actually be a no deaths let's play. We'll. S We'll see. But, um, yeah, we'll leave it there. So a big thank you to everybody who is here watching, who took part in the chat as well. A big thanks to everybody who likes and shares my videos, leaves all the comments on the videos. That's all absolutely fantastic. And, of course, a big thank you to everybody who's in the Viewer Plus program and people who donated. You, you do make a big difference. So thank you very much. Uh, that's all from me for now. Take care, everybody. Um, I th yeah, I think we'll drop the reusability for until we get better equipment and then we'll come back to it. So, for stream two, that's going to be all for now. Take care. Goodbye, folks. <laughs>